Hi there, I'm Colin. I'm Liza. And we are Music by Candle. Happy Music Monday! Happy Music Monday! We are so excited to be part of today's celebration because music is awesome. It is. And you should do it and everybody should do it because it's so much fun. It is. We love it so much and we think everybody should get a chance mm -hmm. to have music in their life. But not everybody does. So we put together a music education video series that covers the Canadian provincial music curriculums. The goal of our program is to make music education easily accessible to parents, to teachers, and to students. In each of our videos, we include original music, animations, printable worksheets, and we have famous Canadian guest artist musicians who come and demonstrate their craft. Music education is so important to us because we grew up studying music and our children have grown up studying music and so we have seen the benefits mm -hmm. that music can give to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, it can help with creativity, it can help with discipline, it can help with brain elasticity, fine motor skills, and teamwork. Teamwork. Yes. When I can't remember the word, she's my teammate, that's right. and we work together, and that's all because of music. That's right. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I am Colin. I'm Liza. We are Music by Candle, and check us out at musicbycandle.com. See you soon. Happy Music Monday. Hey, Larry. Can you stop moving around? I'm trying to watch. Well, I'm, I'm watching too. I'm, this is how I watch shows. No, you need to be quiet and not move around. Why? Well, it's very distracting. Oh, oh okay. So I'll just sit still? Thanks, Larry. No problem, Barry. It's just Bear. Okay, Barry Bear. Larry, quit talking so much. You need to use your listening ears and not be talking. My listening ears? These are my listening ears. Check them out. Pretty cool, huh? Moving around, up and down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny, Larry. But, Larry, I don't mean that. I mean, I can do that, too. Check it out. Oh, wow. You got big ears, but they don't move very much. Thanks, Larry. No problem, Barry. It's Bear. Oh, okay. Thanks, Barry. Okay, the show's gonna start. Better be quiet and be a good audience. Okay, I'm ready. Not moving, not talking, listening ears on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, Larry. You're a good audience. Thanks, Barry. You too. It's just Bear. Hello, hello, how are you today? We can wait to sing some songs and play. Hi, everybody. I'm Colin. I'm Liza. Welcome back. Today's lesson is all about tempo, and we're going to learn some new Italian words. Woo! The term tempo in music refers to the pace or the speed that you're going to play the song at. You can have all kinds of different tempos, and a song can change its tempo at any given moment. So even if you start at one tempo, it could end in a different tempo or different speed. There's some really common Italian terms that describe some of the most used different speeds. The first one is called moderato. Moderato. This means moderately fast or not too fast, not too slow. Moderato. The second one is vivace. Vivace. <laughs> this one is, means go faster, be more full of life. Vim and vigor, that's vivace. And then the last one is my personal favorite, it's called accelerando. Accelerando. And this means starting from a slower speed and getting faster gradually. So accelerando, vivace, moderato, those are all musical terms to describe different tempos, or tempi, actually. It is very easy. It's so comfy. Very comfy. What is that? What is what? that over there? Da. That's like a what is a pterodactyl? Da, yeah, yes. I can't. It, no, that's impossible. That's, that's very impossible. It's a land shark. Oh my gosh! 
Let's get out of here. Keep going. Let's hurry up. Go, go, go. Chaturando. Hurry up. Speed up. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, gone. Oh, good. Okay, so let's go. Phew. That was very close. Well, I'm walking moderately. I'm walking. Yep, it's really comfy. I'm walking easy peasy. I'm walking moderately. And they call this moderate. While Colin plays his obligato and I can play some pizzicato because this song was all about something called tempo. Hi Colin, hi Liza, hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you about how we can interpret music with our bodies. My name is Andrea and I'm a dancer based out of Toronto. So let's have a listen to the music. This is a beautiful sound, soft, light sound, makes me want to sway or make waves like water. Now listen. This one has sharper sounds, quick sounds will match. like a happy song, like a celebration song. It makes me want to jump and skip a little. Now listen, this one has a heavy sound, more of a serious tone. It makes me want to stomp my feet into the ground. Maybe have sharp arms. Weight in our movements. Wow, this one has a wild, energetic feel with directions changing. Let's back to that. It's all over the place. Good job, everyone. Hope you had fun. Now I'd like you to try it at home. Play your favorite mu music and see how you can move your body to the different beats of the music. See you later. And now we're going to show you all a game that we can do using our bodies to show the way rhythms work. So we're going to use ta's, tt's, quarter notes, and eighth notes with body motion. Okay, so here we have up on the board a group of quarter notes. Remember how we used to call quarter notes ta's? Um, now we're going to call them their official musical term, quarter notes. And there's four up there, right? One, two, three, four. All right. So now we're going to match a movement with the rhythm. Why don't we make, every time we see a quarter note, let's make it a knee bend. Okay. Okay, so why don't you count us in? One, two, ready, and. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. That was easy. That's really easy. Well, let's do the same thing with the TTs. Okay. And we're now calling the TTs eighth notes. So let's take a look at these eighth notes and get ready to clap on the beat. Here we go. Okay. One. Two, ready, and. One, and, and two, and three, and four, and. Four, and. Okay, so that's pretty easy. That seems easy. Would it be easy if we put them together? Let's, okay, well, let's get the magic board to give us a new rhythm. Ah, okay, good idea. Ooh, okay, I think we can do this. Okay, we can totally do this. Um, I'm gonna count it out just so we are all clear again on how to count these things. Uh, I see one quarter note, two quarter note, three and four and those were the eighth notes and then one two three and four and okay all right let's do it with the motion okay here we go okay one two ready and 
one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. That's pretty good. That's pretty tricky. It's kind of like a little dance, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. Maybe we should do that one one more time. Okay. Okay. One, two, ready, and. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Very good. I hope you guys are trying along. We're going to do another one here. Magic board, can you mix them up and make it something else? Ooh. Ooh. This one's tricky. This one's going to be really fun to do. Should we count this one out yeah, first? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I see, this is kind of like how it started last time. One, two, three, and four, and there's the bar line, and then look at this. One, and two, and three, four. Okay, this, why don't we do this one slow Okay. <laughs> for me? <laughs> so remember, when we see the quarter notes, we do a knee bend, and when we see the eighth notes, we're going to clap. Okay. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. One, one two, two, three, three and, and four, four, and one, one and, and two, and three, four. four. It's very good. If it's so hard for you guys to clap and do the knee bend and say the words at the same time, that's okay. Just try and do the knee bends and the clapping. You don't have to count along with us. We're going to try again. Okay. One, two, ready, and. One. one Two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. I didn't do a very good job that time. We'll do it one more time for okay. Liza. Thank you. One, two, ready, and. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. I think I'm starting to get it. Okay, good. You want to try it faster? Yeah. Okay. One, two, ready, and. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Four. It yeah. is like a dance. I love it. That's really fun. Hi, Colin. Hi, Liza. Oh, hey, everyone. My name is Greta, and I'm from the ocean. So I had a question about counting music, and I wanted to ask you for your help. Okay, so here is the problem. I can count the beats in a bar, right? Four beats, four shells. That's easy. One two, three, four. But I don't understand the eighth notes or the TTs or whatever it's called. I know that each beat can be divided up like this. So I call it one and, the others stay the same, right? One and, two, three, four. Then what about when I hit this little clam guy? So now it's one and, two and, three, four. Oh wait, I think I got it. Okay. One and two and three and four. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah. Okay. I understand. I got it. Thanks, Mr. Clam or Mrs. Clam. <laughs> One and two and three and four and. Ha <laughs> ha. I totally get it. Thank you so much, Colin. Thank you, Liza. Okay, bye. <laughs> And now we are talking about the percussion family. The percussion family is a huge family. There are so many different instruments, more than we could probably ever show you, but they are a lot of fun to play. The percussion family, I think, was, is the oldest family. Human beings invented percussion probably shortly after they learned how to sing. The cowbell. The cowbell is actually a bell that a cow would wear around his neck. We have cymbals. Or you can also play it like this. We have this thing, which is called a wood block. We got four wood blocks. We have this one, which makes a super fun sound. Called a vibra slap. That's my favorite. I like that one. And the last one called a triangle, because it looks like a triangle. Gong. Jingle bells. Washboard. Noisemaker. Tambourine. Tambourine. 
Wind chimes. Tom Tom. Hand drum. Liza, that was so fun. It was very fun. There are so many percussion instruments out there, whether they're handmade percussion instruments or they're instruments that you'd see in an orchestra. But there's a few that we didn't get to show you. Some really important ones like the timpani. The piano. Drum kit. This is the Can Can by Jacques Offenbach. <laughs> Jacques Offenbach was a German-born French composer in 1819. He started playing violin at age six. At age eight, he was composing. At age nine, he started playing the cello. By the time he was 16, he had a job with L'Opéra Comique. And this was a company that specialized in doing operettas. Operettas were getting more and more popular at the time. They were shorter than a traditional opera. Um, they were usually about something more lighthearted and they would have spoken dialogue. So actually they were a little bit more like musicals. And uh, when he had the job playing cello with the opera comique, he, he got kind of bored sometimes because he just wanted to make people laugh and just pull pranks on people. So he'd do funny things during the performances uh, to make people laugh, but then he'd get in trouble and sometimes they wouldn't even pay him for performances. So eventually he said, you know, he was just going to open up his own theater so he could uh, stage his own operettas and have all the control just because he wanted to make people laugh. He sounds like a fun guy. Hi everybody! I am so excited to introduce you to my friends. They're super, super cool, really fun, really nice guys, and uh, we love singing together. We sing in a style called a cappella, which means we only use our voices. We don't have any instruments. And there's four of us, and we're singing in harmony, so that means we're singing in four-part harmony. So these guys should be here very soon. Hopefully they're here soon, and uh, they... Ah, there they are. Hey, I'm Dylan. Hey, Colin. Dylan, and I'm, that's Rob. Rob. Hey, Colin. And that's Andreas. Hey, guys. How's it going, everybody? You guys look great. You ready? Here we go. Doo-bop, shoo-bop, doo-bop, shoo-bop, Where did all these strange words come from? Dances on a town. Street corner singing with no backup. Mimic in the sound. Do bop, shoo bop, do bop, shoo bop. Whoa, do bop, shoo bop, shoo bop, shoo bop, do bop, shoo bop. Oh, whoa.
We have a special guest who's coming in to sing a song that they wrote. I'm very excited. I didn't even know this person could even sing. You know, I think it's it's really important whenever anybody writes a song that they they take it out and they show it to some people to get opinions and to grow and be comfortable sharing and taking other people's ideas. Maybe they're not perfect ideas. Maybe they're ideas that lead to new ideas, but we have to be open to that, right? That's really, that's great. And and, and here here it is now. Frankie. Frankie. Hey, Frankie. I'm Frankie. Frankie, this is such a great song. I'm looking forward to this. This is... Thank you. We've never done anything like this before, so so thanks for being brave and singing your song that you wrote for us. Okay. So cool. We have the the music in front of us. We have the chords, All right. and we are going to play it for you, and you just you sing away. Yeah, this okay. is Frankie's public de- debut. A debut is like the first time somebody's performed, so you just be really supportive. This is very brave. <laughs> Okay, sorry, Frankie. Talking? I know you weren't done. We just sorry to interrupt, but uh, you were. I was what? You you were you were hunched over your music, and, and we couldn't we couldn't hear you. You had the music actually in front of your face. We couldn't even see you, uh, and you were really really quiet. Yeah, I was quiet. You know, I think everybody really wants to hear the song that you have written. Everybody. Um, you should be feeling proud of yourself. We would love to see your wonderful face and. You know, I think I think if you get that thing out of your face, we'll the, we'll be able to see and hear you better. All right. You know, feel proud. Let's try that again. Yeah. yeah. Good posture, nice and tall, and have your music down so we can see your face. Yeah. Let's try it again. Here we go. Good posture. All right. Bubble wrap, butterfly, brown balloon, and big blue grass, bumblebee. Stop it. I don't well, understand. It was, I mean, it was better. I mean, we could actually see your face and, and you were had great posture. Yeah, so that was, that that's was nice. Good. So thanks for doing that. Okay. But, you know, everything was, you were singing it, everything was the same dynamic. Everything was kind of like about a mezzo piano, just kind of, just kind of in the middle and nothing changed. And so, so maybe, can you do it again? All right. This time with your good posture, add in some dynamics, add in some... Fortes, add in some pianos. Yeah, remember how we were learning about those in one of our previous classes, all about how to do soft, how to do loud, and then getting softer, getting louder. We'd love to hear you do some of those, Frankie. I'm sure you're awesome at them. Okay, you ready? You want to try? Okay. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. Mmm! <coughs> Okay, so yes, you they, you did like great, great dynamics. Those, Those louds. So obvious. Loved the super crazy dynamics that you just did. Really loud, really quiet. But, uh, you know, we can't actually understand your words that you're saying. I, I don't even know what the song's about. So I actually can't tell if the dynamics that you did match the lyrics that you're singing. All right. So I think the the thing we need to do now is sing with really good enunciation. I want to hear 
all your words, every single word that you're about to sing. So good posture. Good posture. Music out of your face. Music out of your face. There is uh, dynamics. Uh, dynamics. Uh, and, and good enunciation so we can understand your words. This is going to be amazing. I'm sure, Frankie, you can do this, right? You're feeling good? Mm -hmm. He's positive. He's okay. a happy guy. Yeah. Yeah. Happy guy. I'm, I'm so excited to hear this. I'm so excited song. for you to hear this. Bubble wrap, butterflies, brown balloons and big blue skies, bumblebees, blueberry pies, brownies at our bite size. I love all of these cause they start with letter B. <laughs> wow! Frank. How did you do that? I didn't know you had it in you, honestly. I mean, I knew you were going to be awesome, thank you, but... Thank you. And who knew that Frankie's favorite letter was the letter B? This is the Sugar Plum Fairy from the Nutcracker Ballet by the Russian composer Pyotr Tchaikovsky. <laughs> Pyotr Tchaikovsky was born in Russia in 1840. He started music at five years old. His parents didn't really want him to go into music though, um, so he kept going on his own and eventually his parents let him take formal music lessons, but that wasn't until he was 22 years old. Tchaikovsky suffered a little bit in life uh, with, with severe bad nerves. He was worried a lot of the time, stressed out a lot of the time. He had really bad stage fright. He would get very nervous before performances so badly, in fact, that he thought if he didn't hold his head, his head might fall off. He was very famous for writing ballet music. Uh, there's Swan Lake is a famous one. The Nutcracker is another famous one. Another one that he wrote was the Overture to 1812. Uh, a piece that he wrote, and in this piece he had regal cannons to go off in time with the music, so which cool. must have been so amazing back then. <laughs> so. And he was very highly regarded as a conductor as well as a composer, and in 1891 he conducted the very first performance at Carnegie Hall in New York. Hello, Earthlings. I am Schnell. Hello, I am Gunther. My sister and I met Colin and Liza when they visited outer space to see what music sounds like out here. Yeah, I like them. They taught us some really cool stuff, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, like how to make the world's best lasagna. They taught us cool songs. And yes, okay, there's lasagna. Yes, yes. My favorite song is When the Saints Come Marching In. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints come marching in, I want to be in that number when the saints come marching in. No, no, no. This is the best song. They'll be coming round the black hole when they come. They'll be coming round the black hole when they come. They'll be coming round the black hole, they'll be coming round the black hole, they'll be coming round the black hole when they come. Ah, I want to sing mine again. Hey, I wasn't even done yet. Yeah, I'm singing mine again. No, I want to keep singing mine. I want to sing mine. Mine. Me. Yeah? That's not yeah. fair. Yeah, you're totally done. I'll never be done. <laughs> you're so bad at sharing. Whatever. Mom always says how bad you are at sharing. Whatever. Come on. Oh, when the saints the come marching come. in. Oh, when the saints come the marching the in. Come. I want to be, be around the black in that be number. Around the black hole, when the be saints come the black marching hole, in. Whoa. Wow. What? <laughs> what? That's so Blueger coffin. Yeah, for those of you who don't speak Blucherflein, that means awesome. 
Wow, am I ever glad those songs sound so good together. Because it would be a really long trip back to our home planet of ooze-poos. That's for sure. Well, we better get going. Bye, everybody. Bye, Colin. Bye, Eliza. See you later. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints come marching in. I want to be coming around the black hole. We just had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Music isn't always just about being serious and practicing and working hard and being right or wrong. Sometimes it's just about having fun, playing games, making noises, and enjoying the music. We hope you've had so much fun just like we did today and we have some more activities for you to enjoy and we're excited to see you in the next class. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colin. I'm Liza. See you soon. <laughs>